Greetings, groovy people! I'm the self-proclaimed Blue Dragon, and I welcome you to this week's Wednesday video. Ready, steady, fight! I don't know why I said it like that. Wow, I'm laughing because, like, my first take of this, I immediately just fell into a coughing fit. <laughs> Which is not funny in and of itself, but I was like, wow, I just took a swig of water. Why am I coughing? <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway, I'm working on an image to share with my $3 level patrons or higher. And I will also, I also did a flat color version of this that I can sell as a sticker, which I've already done some print-offs of that, and I'll be cutting those out and selling them at Con Alt Delete this December uh, 20th through 22nd in Rosemont near Chicago, Illinois. If you're interested in either my Patreon page or if you want to learn more about Con Alt Delete, I'm so excited! I've never been to a convention as like an actual seller, so I'm kind of excited about that. And you're going to be hearing more about it because I'm going to be wor working on stuff for it. But uh, if you're interested in that, down in the description, I'll have links to those things, um, and I would be more than happy. Otherwise, if you're, I mean, just watching the videos, liking, subscribing, you know, hitting the notifications bell, all that helps out too. Like, oh, by the way, I just got a new, um, a new subscriber. Thank you so much for that. His videos are really cool too, so I'm gonna go ahead and put his link in, in the description. He does comics on, uh, Comic Fury too, so go ahead and check that out. But yeah, if you're interested in any of that, it'll be down there. Otherwise, just just subscribing and liking the videos and watching them. Watch time is really important with YouTube, so you guys who have been watching my videos and commenting and, you know, all that, I really am so thankful. Thank you guys so much. I could never... I mean, when I went into this, I didn't think I'd have anyone watching what I do, so thank you. Thank you, thank you. What I'm doing in this video, um, I'm gonna talk I'm gonna talk about Rena and Kana and how they met. That's what I wanted the subject to be. But the actual image that I'm doing, what inspired this image was I can't remember who I was watching. It was not Mark Curley. Usually I'm watching Mark Curley, but it was some other guy. And also I know that I was watching Lavender Ton at one time talking about the character's silhouette and how that's important. But there was another person's video. It wasn't Lavender Ton's video that inspired me to do this character or to do Rin this way in this weird pose. <laughs> anyway, the video that I had been watching, I, w I, I was trying to improve, improve, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gonna be one of those days. I was trying to improve the silhouette of my character to make them stand out more, to make it more dynamic, and so I have one foot of hers kind of back, and I did flip the canvas. I do flip, if I haven't done it yet, I do end up flipping this because one, I drew her left-handed. <laughs> So that was wrong. She's right-handed. I have a left-handed character to pay homage to my one of my cousins who's ambidextrous but mostly left-handed. <laughs> so um, I do flip her later. And this is her when she's older. A little bit older. I mean, she's in this image, I would say she's at least 18. Mm. I need, I tried to, I also change her eyes and move her eye up a little bit. I, I was trying to make her look a little older. I think she just looks the way she always does. I need to work on that. That's something that I need to work on. But the goal was to try my best to make, to make a dynamic pose and to make sure that it was proportioned. And I actually did this image on Bristol board. Normally I just use normal paper because I'm so stingy with my Bristol. <laughs> I don't want to use it unless it's going to be something fantastic and amazing, you know, because it's expensive. So I even did this on Bristol board. And uh, yeah, so this this image, I actually like, I, I feel like I caught a lot of her energy and how, you know, her confidence. She's a very confident character. It's just her personality. Even when she's like in the wrong, she's still very confident. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's what inspired me to do this image. The other thing that moderately influenced me was I wanted to do the shadowing uh, a little bit different and the lighting. So the shadows, I was trying to make... This was definitely inspired by Lavender Town. She was talking about having some hard shadows in addition to the light shadows and so I tried to have both the light shadows and then the darker hard line. I don't think I succeeded very well and also 
I was trying to make the shading a little bit different than I normally do, so I had some shading on her face and around her nose. And I'm not too fond of how it turned out, so I need to watch some tutorials on how to improve that. I just haven't had any time yet, but maybe for my Friday night videos, maybe I'll record myself attempting to follow some tutorial at some point. Um, I don't know how to have, like, the double screen, so you're just gonna have to take my word on it, I guess. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, that's that, that was where this image came from and why I'm coloring it right now. Let's talk about... Ren and Kana, and how they met, and how they became friends. So I have a little chibi pack of stickers. Yes, I'm advertising it. I don't care. Shop's down in the description. Uh, I mean, I don't care that I'm advertising it. I'm not ashamed. I made these uh, of the main Dark Horse cast. There's a lot of characters that you haven't seen yet, but I'm going to flash that up on the screen. Shh. You'll notice that Kana's wearing a schoolgirl uniform. These stickers are of the main cast when they were a lot younger, like in the late 80s, early 90s. And so Kana, she used to go to a Catholic school when she was younger. And when she was there, she was actually very popular amongst her classmates or among her classmates. By the end of fourth grade, she ended up starting her fifth grade at a public school for financial reasons. She was not as accepted in the public schools. The kids thought she was weird. They didn't know her. And she became kind of an outcast. So Rena was already an outcast. She was one of those super hyper kids that can be a little annoying and intimidating. I mean, I I was, yeah, I was kind of like that. You know, I was annoying. I admit I was annoying when I was a kid. I probably still am. Um, but plus she was always loud and outspoken and she was an actual nerd. I know nerd has kind of become the new cool, but back in the day, a nerd was a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> you were made fun of for it. So she's she was already an outcast. Kana actually didn't like Rena at first. She was a bit snobby, hot off the heels of being one of the popular girls at the Catholic school. But Rena's a bit tone dead and never caught on to Kana's rude or, you know, defen defensively rude insults, you know, because she was very insecure. So, since no one else was really hanging out with Kana and wanted anything to do with her, she really only started hanging out with Ren out of necessity. <laughs> but the more they, they did started to hang out, the more they found out that they had a lot of common tastes, a lot of things in common, and they eventually became very close friends. So come high school, the two are already in the outcast circle. I mean, they had other friends that I haven't really created or fleshed out yet, but, you know, they, they were all, they do have, like, other people that they associate with that are in that same outcast group, but they're just not as close as Rena and Kana are with one another. Now, whereas Kana, she grows to try to keep her head down and fly under the radar, Ren goes all blows against the Empire. She was inspired by her parents who were rebellious hippies, freaks, whereas Kana's family is much more conservative. They're more apt to, to try to not go against the grain of society. They're more toe the line in their personality, whereas Ren's all like, I don't care, I'm gonna be in your face with my sh and blah, 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 blah. So that's, they, they're very much, they're kind of opposites, even though they have a lot of things in common. And that's probably one of the reasons why they are so, why they work together so well, because they're not too much alike, but they still have some common interests and, and things that they like. But in a way, Rena and her personality, the way she is kind of in your face with people, does cause a lot of problems for Kana and often, you know, draws the, the word of Wednesday, disdain. Not that great of a word. We all know what that means, but whatever. Grabbing the low-hanging fruit this time. She, you know, Ren often does, unfortunately, draw the disdain of their fellow classmates. But even when she's not the cause of the problem, I mean, you know, it's never... It's not really a person's fault that they get made fun of. I mean, there might be things that you can do to avoid it, but ultimately everyone's responsible for their own action. So I don't want to, like, blame them for being made fun of. But even when Rena isn't the cause of the problem, she is fiercely, fiercely loyal to her friends, uh, particularly Kana. And she will defend <laughs> her friends against the other students, regardless of whether or not it's going to cause her to get beaten up or... Well, she doesn't really... They don't really, like beat anyone up, but uh, they definitely do get made fun of a lot. So sometimes she'll try to draw the attention to herself and kind of defend her friends, so. 
But yeah, that's all I got for this week. Thanks so much for listening in, you guys. If you like the video, as I mentioned earlier, please like it. That helps me out a lot. Subscribe, do the bell thing. You know, if you like it, you know, notification. Hit the notification bell. Question of the week. Did you have any close friends or do you have any close friends that you will defend the bitter end in spite of drawing attention to yourself? That's a really long question. But that's the question of the week, you guys. Yeah, I'm not really thinking today. Mm. Um, <laughs> thanks again. Peace and love. Fare you well. And keep on trucking.